Hi viewers, welcome to Shaker's Bio Factory for NEAT. Plant Kingdom with Rhodophyce or Red Algae General Characters. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get notifications. Like, follow and share my videos to your students and friends to get more information in biology related to NEET and other national state level competitive exams. In this video, I am going to explain the general characters of Rhodophyce or red algae. The Rhodophyce members are commonly known as red algae due to having of a special water soluble red colored pigment it is called r phycoerythrin this r phycoerythrin it is sufficiently present in chromatophores and it completely mask the chlorophyll a pigment and gives a characteristic red colorization most of the members, nearly 98% of Rhodophyce members are present in marine water and remaining members are present in fresh water, especially these fresh water membrane members grown in stagnant water. The marine species, they have ability to live at greater depth, nearly 30 to 90 meters than other members of different classes. They also exhibit a high degree of parasitism. Example, Harviella and some of the members they grow on other members called epiphytism. One of the members that is a porphyridium, it is a unicellular member and terrestrial in nature generally grow on damp soil. In the plant body structure, very few members like porphyridium, it is a unicellular in nature, but remaining all rhodophyce members are multicellular in nature. The multicellular members, it may be in the form of filamentous, example spermothaminian. Some of the members having parent chymotus body, example porphyra. And a few members have pseudo parent chymotus body, example asterocystis. And a few members have feathery body structure, example polysiphonia, along with ribbon like structure like candrus. In Rhodophyce members, Generally, flagella is absent and totally the motel stays absent in its life cycle. In the cell structure, the cell wall it consists of two layers. The outer layer it is made up of pectin and inner layer it is made up of cellulose. Especially around this cell wall, a mucilaginous material of the outer layer it consists of agar and kerosin. It is present and acts as a major portion of dry weight of cell wall. In multicellular members, the cell wall having some thin areas. These thin areas are called pits. With the help of these pits, cytoplasm of one cell it is connected with cytoplasm of neighboring cell. With the help of a cytoplasmic thread, it is called plasmodesmata. The cells may have only one chromatophore with central phyrenoid or many discoid and parietal chromatophores with phyrenoids as a photosynthetic organ. It holds photosynthetic pigments. The photosynthetic pigments are generally chlorophyll A, chlorophyll D. Along with that, alpha beta carotene, 
xanthophylls like a tetraxanthin, lutein, vyloxanthin, zeaxanthin, flavoxanthin and bile proteins are present in the form of R phycoerythrin and R phycocyanin. The characteristic red colorization of algae it is due to the sufficient amount of R phycoerythrin. This R phycoerythrin it completely masks chlorophyll A pigment and gives a red color. The rhodophysis members having reserve food materials in the form of Floridian starch, fluoridicide, and mana glycerates. These members perform reproduction with the help of three methods in these vegetative reproduction, asexual reproduction, and sexual reproduction. Vegetative reproduction it is rarely performed by only unicellular members but asexual reproduction it is takes place with the help of specialized asexual spores like monospores neutral spores carpospores bispores and tetraspores in rhodophysi members the sexual reproduction it takes place with the help of advanced oogamous type in this the male sex organs are called spermatangium a single non-flagellate male gamete it is produced in each spermatangium such male gametes are called spermatium the female sex organs are called carpagonium or procarp these carpagonia are it is in flask shaped with a, a long neck having flask shape having with a long neck the trichogyny during fertilization the spermatium come in contact with trichogyny that is entry point with help of water current most of the rhodophysi members shows biphasic or triphasic life cycle pattern these are the general characters of these members the common example for rhodophysi members like polysiphonia porphyra gracilaria and gelidium let us we discuss the characters of these members the first example polysiphonia the species are entirely marine in nature found grow on rock surfaces so that such members are called lithophytes some of the another members are epiphytic in nature polysiphonia is a bushy marine red algae with feathery multi axial structure and usually well branched having more number of branches the thallus is generally heterotrichous in nature that means it is well differentiated into prostate system and erect system it is erect system is aerial the prostate system creeps over substratum and it functions as a attachment of the thallus plant body to the substratum and perennation in function in the life cycle of polysiphonia it exhibit triphasic alternative generations in these uh, three distinct phases occurs alternatively these three phases are gametophytic phase carposporophytic phase tetrasporophyte phase the male haploid plant this male haploid plant or gametophyte produces spermatia and female plant that is female gametophyte produce carpagonium which remain attached to female parental plant after fertilization 
it result in the formation of a diploid zygote it becomes into carposporophyte the diploid carpospores are produced in carpogonium when this carpogonium it releases carpospores these are non motile and they settle and grow to form a filamentous a diploid plant body now this diploid plant body is similar to gametophyte this diploid plant body it produces tetrasporophyte which when adult produces a spores with the help of meiosis division now these are called tetraspores these tetraspores can produces male and female gametophytic members to complete its life cycle the second example is porphyra porphyra is a cold water seaweed that grows in cold shallow sea water areas it is an edible flat thalloid marine red algae the thallus is made up of 1 to 2 layers of cells covered on the outside by a cuticle of solidified gel it can reproduce asexually by forming neutral spores in sexual reproduction both male and female gametes are formed on same thallus now same thallus can produces male and female gametes the fertilization it result in the formation of a diploid zygote this diploid zygote undergoes meiosis division to form haploid spores called carpospores each carpospore grow into a filamentous like structure now it is called canthocelis stays this stays it can produces haploid tetraspores ultimately this canthocelis stays produces a typical flat parenchymatous thallus of porphyra the third example is gracilaria gracilaria is an agar yield red algae so that it is called agarophyte which grow in logens the thallus of this gracilaria it is a branched cartilaginous cylindrical or composed cylindrical and these plants are unisexual in nature gracilaria it is erect thallus arises from a small discoid hold fast now the thallus are generally cylindrical depressed or blade shaped with lateral alternate and sub dicatamers branches sometimes several different type of branches may be found in one plant only gracilaria are characterized by triphasic sexual life history with an alternation of generation as in case of most red algae the life cycle is diploplontic it is with haploid gametophyte alternating the diploid sporophyte that means haploid gametophytic phase it is alternatively present with diploid sporophytic stage in its life cycle <coughs> the typical life cycle of gracilaria follows a basic pattern which is seen in polysiphonia life cycle their life cycle is similar to polysiphonia the fourth example is gelidium gelidium is a stiff cartilaginous pinnately branched agar yield red algae that is attaches to substratum by a number of rhizoids now this gelidium it is appears like lace like structure gelidium is the major source of agar 
which is obtained from its cell wall. The success of vegetative growth it is closely correlated with the success of their sexual reproduction and asexual propagation. The triphasic reproduction cycle of gelidium is apparently similar to other members of red algae. That means almost all red algal members they having a similar type of life cycle with the same type of reproductive methods. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get notifications and like, share my videos to your students and friends.